Okay, let's talk about percent. And if you think about it, not a day goes by that we don't see this symbol. I mean, if you go to the store, you see things that are 20% off, and then you're watching TV and you see car financing, uh, 0% for uh, a year. And then you uh, go and open up your mail and you see your credit card statements and their interest rate is there with this percent symbol. I mean, this symbol is everywhere. So with that being said, I mean, you really want to know percent very strongly because you're, we're dealing with it all the time. Now, most people have a good general feel of basic percent, but I kind of wonder, like, you know, how many out there really can handle more sophisticated percent problems? And I use that word loosely, uh, you know, other problems that are not just easy percent problems. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give you a pop quiz here, and I want to kind of see, hey, do you have strong percent skills, okay? And if you don't, it's not the end of the world, you know, use this as feedback to improve. Um, I do a lot of videos on percent uh, because it's such a practical, you know, topic in mathematics because, you know, we apply this all the time. So if you need to learn about percent, you can check out my pre-algebra playlist. I have tons of videos on percent. And then you come back to this uh, little quiz here. It's three questions. won't take you long at all. If you know what you're doing, you could probably do this in... Uh, Oh, I don't know, a minute and a half. So we're going to get to this in a second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. Um, I offer about 100 plus different math courses. So um, all the basic courses from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, college algebra, going to be launching my pre-calculus course here soon. And uh, I have many other uh, type of courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're preparing for a test like the GED, SAT, ACT, a teacher certification, nursing entrance, ASVAB, Alex, AccuPlace, there's tons of reasons People have to study math outside of a math course. So I have great um, uh, test preparation courses, and I should have your tests that you're studying for. If I don't, drop me a line, and I'll give you my best suggestion. By the way, you can find a link to my math help program uh, in the description of this video. Also, I do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. I have a great homeschool learning system. So if that's your situation, I can definitely help you out. And then, obviously, if you're just learning math and you're struggling, I can definitely help you out. But one thing you need to do to help yourself out is take great math notes. Over years of teaching math, decades of teaching math, one thing is apparent to me, those students who take great math notes almost always end up with great math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who just mm, don't like taking notes or take sloppy notes like I did way back in the good old days, I, my notes were like this. And then I went to go look at my notes, and I was like, mm, what did I write down? And I was just like, wow, that was a waste of time. Back in the good old days, just to really side the thing here, and uh, for those of you that are my age, which is 50 and older, we used to have to take a typing class. I don't know if they still do that today with the old school typewriter. And I would, you know, you'd sit there and you put your fingers on the keyboard and you would be like, OK, you're trying to figure out uh, you would type some letter and you're trying to figure out your words per minute. And I just remember looking at that, and I'm like typing away. I'm like, man, I'm super fast at typing. I'm so good. And then when I would stop and I would pull out the paper, it totally didn't make any sense. It was scribble scratch, right? So just because you're doing something, you know, and you think you're doing it well, okay, in actuality, you could be doing it very wrong. Right? And note-taking is one of those things. You could be like just taking stuff down, and then you go back and look, and it doesn't make any sense. So Note-taking really requires focus and effort. And I'm spending time in here stressing this because if you're watching this video and you want to learn math, you've got to know uh, about taking great math notes. It's a lot of, it is, you know, work. It requires efforts and it's it's a skill, okay? But over time, your everything and, uh, you know, your grades, everything is going to get better, okay? This is the key. All right. But uh, in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so got three questions here for you. Feel free to use your calculator, but uh, just don't want you just punching in numbers and guessing, okay? Like really, um, you know, you want to have certainty of why you answered the question you did. Okay, so here's our three questions. Uh, question number one, 12% of 80 is this. Okay, number two, four is 15% of what number? 
Okay, so that's our second question. And number three, 17 is what percent of 65? All right, so give yourself whatever time you need here. It should take you no more than a couple uh, minutes. Uh, you can use your calculator, but you should write out what you're doing. Just don't plug in numbers into the calculator and get some values, all right? I prefer you to write this on a piece of paper and go ahead and pause the video and do so because I'm going to start going over the solutions here in just one second. Okay, so hopefully all of you, uh, you know, are playing along and you've got your three problems. And now we're going to go ahead and get the results and see where your percent skills are. So we'll start off with number one. Well, we have number one and number two there. All right, let's just focus here on number one. Okay, so 12% of 80 is what? Well, the answer is 9.6. And if you got that right, give yourself a check mark and a plus and a happy face. That's very good. So... I don't want to turn this into a complete full lesson on, on percent, but basically what you have to do is we take that percent and we write that as a decimal, that's 0.12, and then we multiply it by 80. So 0.12 times 80 gives us 9.6. That is the answer. Now, again, this is not a full lesson on percent. If you don't really understand that, you got to just go to my other videos on percent in my pre algebra playlist, and I cover all this, okay? So... Uh, if you got number one right, that's very good. This is a basic percent, finding a percent of a number. All right, so number two, definitely more interesting, okay? This is a type of problem that uh, some of you were taught a different way to approach this problem. I don't care how you did it as long as you are certain that you know how to do this type of problem correctly, okay? That's what counts. The answer is 26.6, all right? So if you got that right, definitely uh, add on a couple stars to your already uh, cool smiley face there. But let's talk about how I would approach this. So 15% of what number? We can write a basic equation. I prefer to solve uh, percent problems using basic algebraic equations. So that's 0.15 of some number, okay, is 4. Or 4 is 15% of what number? Again, I teach this in my uh, other percent videos in my pre-algebra playlist. Of course, all this is taught in my courses, like my pre-algebra course. So 0.15 times x is equal to 4. Now, some of you um, would approach this differently. You would just know to take this 4 divided by 0.15, and that's fine too, because that's what we, to solve for x, I divide both sides of the equation by 0.15. So 4 divided by 0.15 gives us 26.6. As long as you got that answer confidently and you were certain, well, you know, you knew what you were doing, then that's what counts, okay? Because I know... Uh, percent can be taught in a couple different ways. It's just, you know, you're doing the same thing. You're just thinking about it differently. And through my, um, my experience, I uh, really like to teach percent problems using basic algebra. I think that's the easiest way uh, to remember things. But again, you know, you might have uh, learned percent in a different way. Bottom line is, as long as you get the answers correct, that's what counts. Okay, so let's go ahead to our last question, number three. 17 is what percent of 65? The answer is 26.1%. And if you got three out of three on this quiz, then, oh, wow, you are definitely a percent expert, okay? So that's awesome. Give yourself an A+, plus and like uh, five stars, okay? That's excellent. This kind of covers, you know, the three type of uh, prompts. So let's just cover, go through how this problem is done. 17 is what percent? Well, this is the part, okay? And 17 is some part out of the whole 65. So that's kind of the, the concept of percent, a part out of a whole. So we have 17, we divide it by 65, we get the decimal 0.261. So if you wrote down the answer 0.261, you were close, okay? But that's not the question. The question was what percent? I want this in percent. So I got to go from a decimal to a percent, so you multiply by 100, or you scoot that decimal point over two places to the right, and that'll be 26.1%. Now, again, uh, this is, you know, not come full lessons on how to do this, all right? This is, requires some time. If you're not sure about percent, then I definitely uh, would encourage you to go to my pre algebra playlist and learn about uh, percent, because this is like practical math, okay? These are things that you will encounter, right? And um, But again, you know, if you were able to do all these proms and you got yourself a three out of three in this quiz, 
That's very, very good. Even if you did it differently, okay? As long as you were certain in your answer, the way you were taught percent, that's what counts, all right? And I would classify you as a percent expert. You have now, a, like, you know, in karate or kung fu or martial arts, you are a black belt in percent. So that's pretty awesome. And um, again, you know, percent is, you know, everywhere in mathematics. And the stronger you are, uh, you know, with dealing with percent type of problems, then, you know, you'll you'll keep out of confusion because, you know, percent, uh, you know, there's even additional things that I didn't throw into this problem. I could have given you percent of increase, percent of decrease. So maybe I'll kind of do that as another bonus quiz later. But if you were able to answer these three questions, that's very, very good. All right. So if this video was kind of, you know, enjoyable in some way, you're like, yeah, okay, you know, I feel good about my percent skills. Well, then definitely consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time, have hundreds and hundreds of videos organized from basic to advanced math on my channel, all there for you. Uh, it's a great platform for someone like myself who's obsessed with teaching math in a clear and understandable way. But if you truly want my best uh, math help, check out the links in the description of this video. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.